So we're going to talk about event studies today. The idea of a, an event study is to find out if a particular event has a systematic uh, effect on a stock's price. So what do I mean by systematic? Well, I mean the average stock. So suppose you have a blue stock that's just mosing along and the price jumps at time period two. So like, let's suppose two is a Tuesday. Then you have a red stock. The red stock gets a good piece of news and jumps on Thursday, the day number four. That uh, graph is in price, uh, price space. That is, there's price is on the y-axis. Let's put this in returns space, which is what we normally see. So we have the same setup, time on the uh, x-axis, but now we have returns on the y. So with the blue stock, nothing's happening until time two, and then there's a big positive return, and then nothing's happening for the rest of the time. For the red stock, nothing's happening until time period number four, and then there's a big spike, and something happens. So what we've been working in is calendar time. Days one, two, three, and four, and five all are actual days, and let's just say days in a week. Let's switch over to event time. What event time does is it puts everything relative to these good news events. So for the blue, we've got zero as the day that something good happened, and we're counting around that day. Similarly, for red, we've got zero on the day the good news happened, and we count relative to that. So the actual event study what it does is line up the returns in event time. So once again, we have time on the x-axis. But now instead of calendar time, we're going to put event time. So let's put zero in the middle, one, two, negative one, negative two, and we're going to have returns on the x-axis again, or sorry, the y-axis. So now we just line up the returns in event time. So the blue will have a big jump at time equals zero, and the red stock will also have a big jump at time equals zero. And that's how you line up time in an event study.